I know that you also binge watch Schitt's Creek. Who would you love to travel with on that show? And who would you not want to travel with? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I'd probably want to travel with Patrick. Maybe oh, Patrick and yes. David together. Who would you not want to travel with? Oh, you probably don't want to travel with <laughs> Roland. I'm so excited to be chatting with you. We're chatting with you for a really cool reason to give a lot of people hope and something to look forward to when it comes to travel. So why don't you tell us what you were doing in Toronto in this beautiful city? I am here in Toronto filming a, a holiday movie that will be on HBO Max uh, this, uh, this December called 8-Bit Christmas. And um, we're filming it here starting tomorrow for me. Very exciting. And Amazing. Yeah, that's been it. Anytime I can get an opportunity to get to Canada, I I embrace it. Speaking of travel, uh, you're also working with Accor and this really cool digital campaign. Tell me a little bit about this project. We were working together on this thing called All Accor Live Limitless. And we have an online presence with me kind of explaining how one can travel again, sort of... Um, yeah. quasi serious videos about now that we've been away from hotels away from travel like etiquette lessons yes. of how to dress and plan and have small talk it it's all for you know comedy but um but i think it's fun i love the whole etiquette part of it because Listen, people have forgotten a lot of their, like a lot of etiquette and a lot of things. Before this whole pandemic happened, my husband and I were traveling somewhere, I don't know, and we sat down in our seats and we looked, we were on this side and over here in the middle row was a guy with his girl and he had taken off his shoes and socks and he oh was leaning God. back with his feet on the, the like the table? No. Like I this. Don't. I know. What is happening? I, know. I do want to ask you about the 29th annual, this is long name by the way, Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Awards pre-party special that you're going to be yeah, doing nice, as cool. well. First of all, what's it like to host a party for Sir Elton John? Like what can people expect? That sounds fancy. Oh, the Elton and David are, are, are great old friends of ours. Not old, but great. Uh, we've known them for a while <laughs> and we our kids have been raised with them. And uh, we usually see them every year and we haven't for the last, uh, this last year, obviously. So um, they are f famous for their Oscar viewing parties that they have in mm. California every year with amazing performances and it's giant tables and it's a huge lavish event. And I haven't been able to attend being on the East Coast. And this year, they can't do it live, obviously. So they're doing yeah. a big virtual pre-Oscar party and asked me to be the host of it. So it's going to be great. Performances by Dua Lipa, um, some fun surprises. And it's sort of, it's, a, it's before the Oscars start. So, uh, mm -hmm. and, and thankfully, since it's, we're doing it in this world that we're in right now, we don't have to cap the attendance at a certain number and in point of fact yeah. anyone can go so you can check out their website and anyone can go and watch and uh, it should be wonderful so he what he has done for hiv aids and what mm -hmm. he and david together have done for with their foundation is nothing short of remarkable i mean they it's really remarkable. believe yeah. they can end really they can end the entire disease by you know 2030 or 2040 i'm not sure what the date is but it's incredible they're legit about that they're spectacular people. So do you pull out a text for something like that, even though it's virtual, or do you stick to Jason Sudeikis like sweatshirts that he's been pulling out? I'll put on show. a little something something. I mean, I'm talking about Elton John. That fool always dresses right? crazy amazing. He's just Gucci <laughs> head to toe and it's bedazzled and got unbelievable <laughs> glasses and rings. Like everything is to the to the nine. So compete. I'll have to at least dress to the sixes or sevens. <laughs>